Hi, welcome back. The program is still Monday to 2015. In case of just joining us, we'll talk about political issues and matters of the nation. Again, we've been joined in the studio by another barrister, Mr. Barrister Ayo Durujai, who is also uh, a political analyst. I'm sure that Rotumba has it in today. It's been, it's been sandwiched <laughs> by a barrister. <laughs> welcome, barrister Ayo Durujai. <laughs> they are very envious of my, of my own profession. Can you imagine? Uh, uh, as a development <laughs> practitioner, not legal. Not legal. Yes. <laughs> you You're welcome. Oh, welcome. Thank you very much. Good to have you. Thank you. All right, you just saw the uh, uh, report we had now, talking about uh, what people expect um, INEC to improve upon. It's so very important because we have another election just um, in a few days' time, barely eight days, and um, people are expecting a better um a better uh, exercise, yeah, better exercise in that um, election. Do you envisage or do you see INEC actually going out of their way to ensure that they correct some of these um, anomalies? Uh, in fairness to Professor Degas, I must first of all congratulate him for what he has done. Mm -hmm. INEC has tried their best, they have done well. But I believe they can still improve on it. And the only area I will suggest to them, which I know by I know they are aware, is the issue of the uh, card reader that mm -hmm. is apparent to many people. And then two, the logistics. Mm -hmm. Logistics that do, do with the arrival of INEC officials on time at the polling booth. Because what I believe is that if the INEC officials are there on time, people will not be wasting their time waiting, waiting for them to come and, you know, start asking. And if the card reader is not working, they can quickly make a decision mm -hmm. on whether they should use manual or not. Like where I casted my vote, when they came in the morning, they said the candidate is not working. Three, the three candidates they bought was not working, the board was not working. I said, they said to them, I woke up and they said, why can't you do manually? And they said, no, it cannot be manual. I just kept quiet. But after hours, they now said, they got the narrative that you should do manual. I said, this is what I said. I told you earlier on. And if you have a flashback to our previous elections, that was a time we were doing up to here for. Whereby everybody will line behind their own candidate and they will cancel everything and get the result. So, what I want to say is that I believe that with what has happened in the last uh, presidential election, I make we improve on their, uh, their performance. I'm very, very optimistic. With people like the guys still there, I'm sure they will, they will improve on their. You know, their this <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> I was going to say that. No, the same Jagas so at uh, Knox so and. Uh, well, 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 well um, there was a time a few weeks ago. I, I joined the barista to congratulate that gentleman. Mm. He He's now gentle. Very, very well. Uh, it's amazing with all the pressure on, on him. Mm. But quickly let me say that experience mm. it's the the cumulative of experience is knowledge. Mm. You, that, and that's why oftentimes they will always ask you if you are looking for a job with number of years, years of experience. experience. So the little time that we, I mean, that first experience, we actually lead to doing things rightly. Mm -hmm. You know, even with Americans, with uh, uh, Britain, when they started this bio, yeah, uh, metric. biometric uh, yeah. something at the uh, uh, airport level, mm -hmm. there are a lot of errors and what of these. So they had to fix so many things. Mm -hmm. And today, they are even boasting now that in future, you don't need to pick your passport. Just get there and touch okay. something, and everything about you is out there, and then you, they will allow you in. Mm. So that is what we, we, where we are. The bow, I mean, the, the uh, card reader they've used has actually helped this this uh, election. It has given confidence to people that rigging mm. can be minimized. Yes, yes. You see, in the past. If, the, if that doesn't happen, many people would have come around, pick up the, the, the ballot papers, went away under any disguise. Mm -hmm. But this time, even that name, card reader, actually put everybody uh, in their toes. In their toes. Mm -hmm. If it then happened, as Barita has said, that once in a while something just happened that things cannot be done that way, a, a practical solution. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's required. But even with that first experience, I'm sure that it's going to be different mm. next time. Even on the 11th, I'm sure it's going to be better. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, uh, let's go back to the issue of um, some of the expectations of Nigerians of the incoming president. Again, I want to refer to the issue of a legal luminary, um, Afeva Valela. He also suggested that um, the incoming president should not just foreclose everything President Goodluck Jonathan is doing, that the foundation he's laid, he's laid now, he should try and consolidate, which has been missing most times when you have new government coming in. They tend to forget whatever the uh, past, past end government has done to start off a new one. Uh, would you want to agree with this, Otumba? Um, Otumba, let's Otumba take this one. Well, um, let me say that I want to trust the personality of Buhari. Um, I, I, I want to say that it's a man one can trust. It's a man of his own. It's not a man you will say go and demolish that thing when it is good. I can see that in all his behavioral patterns during, before and during the election and I'm sure it's going to be it's going to continue. You see, because no right thinking person will say this person has done it rightly. And then you want to reinvent the wheel. Mm. It doesn't make sense. Mm. The, the ideal thing is that uh, if you found anything fantastic that the person has done in the past, you must be able to acknowledge it and then go on to build upon it. Mm. But uh, what I would say is that uh, I do not know because if I happen to be the president elect <laughs> and if the what is on ground is not good enough to build something upon, yeah. well in that case there should there will be no sentiment. I will not build upon the foundation that is not solid enough. And I wonder how many of such foundation exist that exist now. Because uh, I do not wish to condemn what has been done in the past, but the reality is that many of these things were not done genuinely with the interest of development at heart. Are we now saying that uh, Jonathan didn't do anything? Towards, Sorry, um, it was about um, a few months to the election, and even maybe after the first postponement, yeah. that uh, Nigerians began began to get more information on some of the. Uh, developments mm. or developmental plans that mm. um, President Jonathan had actually embarked upon. So many Nigerians began to get information at that time. Now, if these things really do exist, if these things really do exist, like um, the issues of um, agriculture, mm -hmm. okay, or if development, really, or bank. development plans, and uh, maybe plans. I think there was a bank that was just yes set up yeah, just set up yes to this boss uh, funds yeah. to smes and yeah. all that yeah. do you think it should be uh something that he should build upon or discard if it let really does speak exist. so that uh, thank you very much mm -hmm. as far as i'm concerned i align myself with the statement credited to chitago valola who's my name is senior and who's my godfather <laughs> uh, besides that Donald Buari, like my brother has said is an experienced man. Peter Buhari has been in this country for years. He knows what he wants. He knows the terrain. Ah, he knows the terrain. So don't, uh, don't uh, having any fear or doubt about uh, canceling what the United has done or not improved on it, I don't think that one should be, not be a problem. We know our problems. What are our problems? If our president doesn't let fix our fix our rules, for instance, those people is the only area I would suggest to the president elect is he should do some changes in the organization. For instance, I can say it anywhere. Look at the people who bought into our power system. They're not doing anything. What they are interested in is collecting money, collecting money, without putting it into the system. And the thing is not improving. Mm. So General Buhari has to review that and make sure that if you are, you are lucky to be among the power uh, holders, uh, supplier, or anything, you should do what you're supposed to do. For instance, where I live, we will not have light for, I don't want to mention my area, we will not have light for four, five, six, seven days. Even a month, we don't have like more than two or three days. The end of the month, they will break B. Is that fair? Now they break the B, they break crazy B. Mm. We have those people that are supposed to invest in the car sector, provide necessary transformer, necessary improvements, so that people will enjoy all these things. Mm. So, General Buhari has no choice. Power is more important to us than leader, he must prove of it. 
Mm. Agriculture is important to us in Nigeria because they prove our need. Infrastructure, like roads, look at Lagos by the Express. They've contracted that for almost two or three years now. But you know, they are trying. They are with body of power, something everybody will sit tight. Then I, I will should quickly add. Mm. Eh? God has given us a good leader. And the their problem, like I used to say in every forum, is that the leaders are good followers. Leadership is our problem. Mm. The moment they, our leader, the moment they know that you have even in every organization, where you are working, you are working in these premises. When you know that your your, your boss comes to office seven thirty on the door. You will, know, you will not have the luxury of coming by 10, 30 or 11. Mm -hmm. Maybe your boss doesn't come to work on time, then they come sitting around 12, when you're supposed to be in office by 8. Definitely, you will say, oh, God is not with you, let me go and enjoy myself, let me go and do my private business. But when you know your boss is for sick, so that you link into Nigeria. When everybody knows the man at the mafia is a no nonsense man, mm -hmm. if you listen to his address yesterday, he said there will be no room for corruption. I repeat, no room for corruption. Nobody will hear that and say, I want to I want to involve myself in the change this. So what we have seen in a sense is that <coughs> this country we are good followers. Mm. Our problem is leadership. But if you can provide good leaders for us, we don't have any problem. Mm. So what I'm saying to somebody is that then Buhari knows what to so do. For we what have a call now, sorry, let's make this call. Yes. Hello. Hello. Well, let's talk about, please. You can go ahead. So, go ahead. what I'm saying is that the Nabuari knows the fundamental things to improve on, and I believe and I will weigh from, from his personality, from his charisma, and his dominion. I know the man will do the right thing. So, that you cannot cancel what the person you have done way out of. No, 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 I don't think you can All do right. that. All right. We have another call, sorry. Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening. Who's speaking? All right, Luwa Salam Dai, where are you calling from? All right, please go ahead. I'm not used to any part of that or any department that the president of the government is actually done of 70 percent of our expectation. But the only department who has three or has reached uh, the elect, uh, uh, president elect is just looking at agriculture. 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 Yes. People are trying and, and, and they are saying what you know, the president of the government are doing as we got that. In any other department, I think uh, we change you know, need to get the uh, uh, that's just my thing. Thank you. Uh, my vice master is that to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord Saramidae. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> But well, he's still talking about the expectation. Of course, mm. he said something about agriculture. agriculture. Yes. Mm. Um, it seems like that's one major sector of the economy that we can really use to um, develop and um, sustain our, our economy. The people, yes. Mm. What do you, what was your take on that issue? Because he yeah, that's on that. That is very, very crucial and important. Mm. Even if you go back to history, take out take the case of Chief Obafemi Awolowo. In the four, uh, in the, in Sorry, we'll have another call. Hello? Hello? All right, please go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Good day, sir. Go ahead, sir. I've decided to invite discipline in their life. And the leadership shows discipline by example. Nigerians will follow. There was a time we were killed at the bus stop. There was a time we were not we on the roadside. Nigerians were getting it right. I came, I was smiling and said, this thing is of the mark, not of the act. We started getting it wrong. He should tackle the corruption in the oil industry. Why are we still importing oil? Why are the textile industry, what we are going costing in the north, 
Where is the palm oil factory? Where are the cocoa? We were told that agriculture, you can get Nigerian rice now. Go to all markets in Nigeria. You will not see meat in Nigerian rice. We have a father rice. We have the dad rice. We have the kitty rice. Make plenty to go for discipline. And all will be right with us. God bless. Thank you very much, sir. Well, let, let me, I think let we should me. hold on with the calls because the two last two callers have said things that are very fundamental. Yeah. Talking about agriculture, mm -hmm. the, and well, then this last caller talked about 